In this video, we look at what options you have for your Profinet network secured with security mechanisms. The Profibus Profinet user organization has three different security classes for this introduced. With security class 1, we now have the opportunity to use services such as DCP or to deactivate SNMP or to restrict SNMP. And additionally, was in security class 1 introduced a new type of GSD file here, namely the GSDX file, which provides validation using authentication to protect the GSD file itself. We will take a closer look at security class 1 in more detail below. In security class 2, the communication between the controller and a device is authenticated to ensure that there are no man in the middle attacks between the device and the controller during communication. In security class 3, the data between the controller and the device is encrypted. For example, recipes, formulas, or other trade secrets are also included here. The field bus level in Profinet is protected during data exchange through encryption. In this video, we take a closer look at Security Class 1. As already mentioned, the configuration options for Security Class 1 were here SNMP and DCP integrated, and we now also have a digital signature in the GSD files. Security Class 1 is available to us on Siemens devices from TIA Portal V19 and onwards 1500. We also need at least firmware 3.1, and here, we also note that not every I.O. device on the market supports the security classes here. Let's first look at the protection of the DCP, the discovery and configuration protocol a little closer. With the protocol we have, among other things, the option of displaying the device name or to change the IP address of our device. If our device communicates with a controller, an attacker can manipulate the device name and change the device name during communication. Because what would that mean? That our controller can no longer find our device and accordingly we no longer have data exchange between our IO controller and our IO device. Therefore, it is now possible from TIA Portal V19 to activate or deactivate DCP in the properties of the IO devices. In other words, if we have activated our write protection here, it is no longer possible to manipulate the IP address or the device name with a tool if there is a data exchange between our IO controller and our IO device. We'll take a look at this again, live in the TIA portal with Pronetter as a change tool, take a closer look. With the simple network management protocol, we have the opportunity to view our diagnostic data sent centrally to a diagnostic tool in our network. As of TIA portal v19, we can completely deactivate SNMP in our device. We can also set it to only run in reading mode, and we have also the ability to use our community string for read and write access for our adapt applications. We can also configure the whole thing in the DIA portal. Again, in the properties in our IO devices, we have the option here to make the setting for SNMP protection. The last feature of Security Class 1 in Profinet is the extension of our GSD file. Our GSD file is now authenticated with a certificate and is accordingly protected, and our GSD file contains the additional letter X. This means that a GSD file with certificate authentication is now called a GSDX file. The GSDX file has the advantage if this file is falsified. By the manufacturer puts it into circulation, an attacker falsifies this file, and our authentication becomes accordingly our check tool here shows that our signature has been falsified. For example, with a GSD checker, we can check our GSD file here, and would create a corresponding one. I received an error message when our GSDX file was falsified. Let's now take a look at what the whole thing looks like in the DIA portal. That means I now have a small test setup here. I have an S7-1500 with the latest firmware 3.1, and I have an at 200 sp here with a standard M, with the latest firmware, and now let's go into the properties from our M in the DIA portal. Look into the properties here, and we can see in this case our active DCP write protection is not activated. We see that everything is green. The controller communicates with our device, and we open the Proneta tool. I installed Pronetter on my computer here. We go into our network analysis here and see our two devices here. And as usual, we can now right click here on our at 200 SP, go into our network parameters and change the device name. That means I just take away the one here. I also get a message that my device is currently communicating. 
Yes, but I would now like to carry out a manipulation here. I do it consciously, and what happens our CPU malfunctions. We'll take a look at the whole thing in the DIA portal, which means we'll connect online with our controller, and we can already see that the device cannot communicate anymore, and the device also flashes at this point. Now we go offline again, and reassign our device name using our engineering tool. Then we assign the name here, and connect online again, and check that our data exchange is okay again. So here again green dicks, and correspondingly here the LEDs are green again. Now let's go and check the box here, and say that DCP, our write protection is active. We have to translate our project again, and then also load our hardware accordingly. Here we select load, and restarted our CPU again. Then we switch back to Pronetter. Click right mouse button again, and set network parameters. Now make the change here again. Click set and now get a message that network parameters could not be set. Let's look at the whole thing again in the DIA portal. This means we have now activated this active DCP ride protection here, and now have no longer the possible to change the device name via Pronetter.